Hello and welcome to another video tutorial by ComputerGaga.com and in this video we are going to look at the pie of pie chart in Excel. So pie charts are used to show values as a contribution to a total. So what is the pie of pie chart about? Let's look at demystifying that. So in this example data I have here of different uh, revenue streams and the sales amount if I was to highlight that range and create a normal pie chart to begin with we will see that a certain part of this pie is very small so these last two sorry last three values for uh, the revenue stream of a loyalty coupon offline sales and referrals it's so small that it's hard to see any kind of real data from it. Yeah, we can see its contribution in relation to the others, aka not much, it's very small, but we can't see too much detail there. And this is where the pie of pie chart comes in. It will allow us to see more detail for these kind of minor values. So I could change this chart type right now, but instead I'm going to delete that chart and we'll look at creating it again so I've got my range of cells selected or highlighted already I'll just go to insert pie and I'm going straight for the pie of pie chart so I'm going to choose pie of pie and here we go this is your pie of pie chart so it shows you secondary pie to get more detail from the minor values here. Now by default, the pie of pie chart always creates the secondary pie from the last three values of your data, which is one of the reasons I've made sure in this example data set that the last three are all the minor values. But we'll look at how we can format that shortly. Before then, let's try and make our pie of pie chart look a little bit better than it currently is and personally when working with pie charts I'm a big fan of getting rid of the legend and using data labels to display the percentage and the category name for each data point I don't believe these, these colors are different enough to make that legend worthwhile personally so I'm going to click once on this legend and press delete on my keyboard to get rid of it. Gives us a little bit more space on our pie as well. And I'm then going to the layout tab under chart tools, data labels, and for more data label options. Where I can uncheck the value box. As you can see in the background it's showing the, the value of each data point at the moment. I'm going to remove that and replace it with the category name and the percentage. I'll close that box down and this is where we're at now. So it's getting to look a little bit busy so I'm going to make my chart a little bit larger so that it doesn't look quite as bad. There we go. So we've got the name of each revenue stream inside the data point. I uh, much prefer that than the legend myself. Uh, and we've also got the percentage which I think you fairly agree most people would uh, would go for. Still, it's looking a lot better, and we can see that the other is 5%, and then it shows that. So each percentage in the secondary pie is still its contribution to a total. It's not the percentage of this pie chart. It's still saying that referrals make up 1% of our revenue, offline sales makes up 3% of our revenue, and so on. Overall, the minor values are 5%. Okay, so what else can we do? there is more formatting we can do. I mentioned that by default the pie of pie chart is used to show the last three values of your data set in the secondary pie. Let's look at double clicking on the secondary pie chart so that I get to the format data series dialog box for it and immediately in this se series options category the very first question is how it's going to split the series and as mentioned it defaults it to the last three values I could change that right now if I needed 
and ask it to show the last four values, the last two values, whatever makes sense in my data set. What you can also do is rather than show it by its position, I could change that and ask it to show it by its value. Or I might go for percentage value here. And I could say show me all the values below 15% in a secondary pie. So now when I close that box down, I get this. It's brought organic uh, traffic in as that makes up 12% of the pie. So in that comes, that also makes it below 15% is in the secondary pie. Other making now 17% of our revenue. I'm just going to click away and then double click back on that pie to bring back that dialer box. I'm going to change that back to how it was. I mentioned one more uh, option here you might be interested in, which is the second plot size a bit further down this dialer box. That is the size of that secondary pie. And it's telling you at the moment that it makes up 75% of the size of the main pie chart. Makes up 75% of that. So if we needed, we could make this a little bit larger or indeed even a little bit smaller. So just to demonstrate that it is what it is, if I made it 90% of the size of the main pie and like it close, brings it the secondary pie is now a lot larger, only a tiny bit smaller than the main pie. So I'm not saying that's the way to go. We can see it's had to put the organic traffic label outside of the segment now. But it's just an example of what we could do if you need to make these pies a little bit larger or indeed a little bit smaller. I'll return that back to 75% as I'm happy with the default. So there's a few more formatting options than that. A lot of it's going to you're going to be familiar with though from normal pie charts or or from other charts like your line or your your column charts. But that is us kind of understanding what this pie of pie chart is all about. Now it shows us more detail from the minor values of uh, our normal pie. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some other tips and tricks at computergaga.com.